told our, our daddy that we are from Ghana. And what did you ask us? Uh, the, the, the player, Asamusa. Asamwajan. Asamwajan. Uh, he was playing for... He, he was a top player. Yeah, yeah he was a top player. And then he missed the penalty. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know because everywhere we go and we say we are from Ghana, they will say uh, Asamoajan. Yeah. So Asamoajan, you are a hero to Ghana. We are proud of you. We are in uh, Eswatini. Eswatini, formerly of Swaziland, and everybody knows you. Echo, echo, echo city. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. All right, that's good. So uh, this is another vlog from. Uh, Eswatini, formerly of... Who am I talking to? Okay. So, I'm talking to myself because I'm making videos from my friends in Ghana because I'm from Ghana and I visited Eswatini for the first time. So, I want yes. my Ghanaian people to, to see... To see Swaziland? Yes. Okay. So, what, what can you say about Swaziland? Anything you want to say about mm. Swaziland? Swaziland is a nice country uh -huh. with a mountainous uh -huh. country uh -huh. and it's a country that have uh, they the people of Swaziland are all they are, they are respective. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah, but have you have you heard of Ghana? No. Ghana as a country, you know, heard of Ghana. Yes, I've heard about Ghana. Oh, okay. So do you know anybody from Ghana? Do you know something about Ghana? Yeah, you. Mm, Ghana, it's, it's, it's only told me that Ghana is a lot of population. <laughs> <laughs> How it's many are you here? Population? Uh, population, it's less. It's, uh, uh, here is 1.2 million. Yeah, in Swaziland. Yeah, but Ghana is 30 million. 30 million? Yeah, 30 uh, million, yeah. 32 million? Yeah. 32 million is more than you. That's a lot. It's a lot of it's people. It's a, a lot of people. Hey, Sisi, <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> Sisi, wait! Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Kanyans! Yeah, thank you, Swazi, Swazi people. Wow, these people are friendly. Okay, why, why are you dressed like this? What is the name of this dress? Uh, the dress, what's the name? Machobo. Machobo, yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm from for you for Ingola, Ingola dance. Okay, you Ingola dance. Ingola okay, Ingola dance. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, except for you have to have like a rap. So during this ceremony. Yeah, you can't just go like that. Yeah, yeah. You guys, are, you address. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Except for her, you have to have something to wrap around. To wrap around. So it's a ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an important ceremony in the country. Okay. Um, it's actually like a sacred ceremony. Okay. It's like a Oh, okay. Somebody was telling me about it. Yeah. And so, uh, when is it done? We are actually on it just now. Oh, so, okay. Uh, it's going to end sometime next week. Oh, okay. So, when well, the dances are done, they just finished uh, last weekend. Okay. So, now the uh, men, mm -hmm. if, you, if you can just walk up around, you see most men dressed in their skins. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah we yeah. saw one today. Yeah, yeah. So, there's a lot of them. There's like hundreds up there. Oh, yeah. Way. Yeah. So, uh, so during that time, um, there's another ceremony actually in August. Yes. The Red Dance ceremony. Yes, that is, that is where we want yeah. to come. Yeah. So... Hey, so um, beautiful. We were just heading towards the stadium, and then we met this brother who mentioned that he's a freelance tourist. So he decided to give us a tour around uh, Lubamba, if I am right. So he mentioned that this stadium here called Some Folo, no, Some Lolo, <laughs> Some Lolo National Stadium, is uh, one of the stadiums where they play uh, soccer, you know, games and then the stadium is in a c shape so the open side of the c shape is facing the mountain right there and the mountain has sacred history so uh this side usually opens when the king of swatini want to come inside something like that yeah and beautiful wise i was you know learning about the uh political system here 
they said Eswatini has two capital cities, the Obani and then the Lubomba. I have to get the name right. But then the, the it is being ruled by the Ken, and Swati the third, and then the um, Queen mothers, and then um, the Prime Minister, and then they have a uh, member of parliament. So basically, uh, that is the, the, the political system here. So when you look around, you realize that the whole of Eswatini is full of mountains. That I'm... Ah. Okay. So finally... Okay. Okay. He said we're free to take photos. The museum people. So um, when you go to, you know, every country, they have a museum where they display uh, their culture. Um, you know, when they say their culture, their way of life, the way they dress, the food they eat, the music, the dance, how they even name their children, how they bury the dead and everything. So we happen to be here in the Swazi village. How do you, how do you mention that? Imuti Wesi Swati. Swazi village. Oh, okay, that's the meaning of that. So here means that uh, people used to live in this kind of building. They used to live in these huts, yeah. Okay. Mukuka. Mukuka. Yes, you yeah. see? You you have this the click. Yeah. <laughs> how, what is it? How do you say the click? You twist your tongue just goes mm. up to your upper. Uh -huh. yeah. And then bring it down. Yeah, then bring it down. Yeah, that's it. You've got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you don't use clicks in your language, yeah? No, no we don't. We no. don't. Yeah. We don't. We just oh. go straight like the way I'm talking. Yeah, because yeah. really is like a mix of a bit of Zulu culture and yeah, okay. you always understand each other. It's okay. Zulu culture, Twana, mm -hmm. yeah, Sotos, the Soto, yeah. Okay, so what tribe are you? We, we are like the Bantu speaking people. The Bantu? Yes, Bantu speaking Bandu people. Speaking. So we are all from like one tribe. Okay. We, that's why we can understand each other. Each other, oh, okay. Same as the culture is really similar. How we get married, okay. Zulu, Swazi, the Kosa, okay. Twana, how we pay bride prices with the cows yeah. and stuff. Yeah. In the attire. Yeah. Yeah, how we dress up. Great. So this is typically how you guys, like the older people, dress, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like married women, actually. It's more to see inside. Okay. But are we allowed to take videos? No. Of course. I guess this is how they lived in the olden days. This is how they put up their structure. Uh, so this is just at the outskirts of the museum. Um, because we were running out of time, we didn't really want to go inside. Because we're going back to South Africa. Uh, but this, this is so nice. I mean... I wish I could enter one of them and just see how it is like, but I'm scared something will pull me out of it. Okay, that's how it looks like. I think the culture here and that of South Africa looks similar. From what the brother was saying, it looks similar. So this, this is where they live. This is how it looks like. Right over here. Hey, so uh, as part of my videos, I met this brother who is taking us around, very good guy, you know, giving us a lot of history about Eswatini, the tradition, the culture and everything. So uh, tell us your name and what exactly you do here and how do people contact you? Um, my name is Peggy Ve, you can call me Peggy. My surname is Makanya, I'm from around here, Lobamba. Um, I'm a freelance tour guide, I take people mostly around the... Lobamba cultural tour. I'm also uh, a coach. I coach school kids, mostly primary and preschool kids, gymnastics and jump rope. We also call it rope skipping. So, if you guys want to uh, see what we do, like uh, uh, know much about Swazi culture, you can contact us. Um, our number is plus 268 766. 17167. Yes, 
So, how do I say thank you? Siabonga. Sabona. Siabonga. Siabonga. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So, we're still walking around showing you. But honestly, the people of Eswatini are so, you know, like welcoming. The whole nation has changed. That is what? Our whole nation has changed. That is your national church. Uh, yes, national church. It only works once a year. This church? Yes. Yeah, it's our. It works in religion. Is this they say this one works once in a year, the church. So during the Easter's hold the churches, the Lutheran, Catholic, Nazarene, we gather around as a nation to come and pray. Here but it is with small. The king. Yes, so some people also gather around. Oh, okay. All the pastors from around. So this is more like it was built by the late king. When does it happen? And during the Easter's, it's a okay. Good, good Friday. So this is more like an, 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 a national cathedral. Yeah, so what happens, because uh, we have Christianity as a main religion here, yeah? okay. also the Swazi culture. You don't have Muslim people? Hey, no, maybe I don't know. Zero point zero, I don't know. We don't have. <laughs> okay. There's only a few, yeah, but we do have. Okay. We do have. We do have mosques in the towns, Manzini, Babani, Suluini, there are mosques. Mm. We do have, but compared to the Christianity, Christianity. Protestant, Protestant uh -huh. speak, yeah? And also, we have these like people. Different kind of called uh, zion and jericho which started here so those people uh, when we had christianity introduced in the country instead of throwing away the swazi culture because we are more like superstitious here so food black magic traditional okay. is very big here and stuff okay so even most people when they get sick they don't go to a clinic or hospital they just contact uh, the traditional healers or mix or mix up some herbs by themselves oh. so that's still very beautiful uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Same even with the policemen when they struggling like uh, to find the bad guys, they go to consult these guys. And they the and predictions. They, and yeah, and it they works. Catch when people have got their items stolen, mm -hmm. disappeared, mm -hmm. instead of reporting to the police, that they just go to this. Way. Yeah, 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 that is, is the African way. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? I said that's the African way, and that's why the place is safe. <laughs> a lot of modernism and a lot of. So where's the botanical <laughs> garden? Yeah. yeah we go. See, when people, people will be saying that if you are swearing in president and swearing in this uh, ministry, you don't have to bring the Bible. We don't have to use the Quran and Bible. Yeah, bring them something to the shrine. Fuduism. I tell you, there will be so much peace. Okay. Yeah. So you can walk in this town, Where in this country, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock a.m., 2 Nothing is gonna happen a.m., to you. you can hold your phone and your laptop. You will be safe. And of course, we've, we've witnessed it. It's not like we are just saying. It doesn't matter, it will take you to the center. So we had a long walk. Yeah. Look at that guy going over there. He has a yeah, has a shield. They are sleeping over there. Oh okay. You wanna get some more and they wanna tell me something. Say it. Okay. okay. Welcome to Swaziland. Eswatini is a beautiful country, and everyone is welcome to come here. Yeah, that's all. Okay. What is what is the common food that you you guys eat here? The common food that everybody eats. Kusha. What? Kusha. Kusha. What is what do you use in making it? Is it corn or yam or plantain? No, just plant. What kind of plant? Corn. 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 Okay. Is it like fufu? Yeah. <laughs> Up. The maize, grinded corn. Okay. Corn. Then more like mashed potatoes. Okay. You have it with the kusha, which is green, the green plant. Green plant. And then it's called with a pap. That's most popular. Okay. But also meat. People do eat meat. It's just that, yeah, most people would reserve the cows for other purposes. You don't just eat meat anyhow. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you eat meat with other, other stuff. Yeah, most people be uh, during a ceremonial event. That is when people would have lots of meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. We're done with the tour. Just a short one. Uh, we're heading back to where we picked the, the bus. A call Simpson connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland.
Charlie, look at them. Look at them. They don't know the road. They've messed the road up. Right now, we are missing. We have to sit in front again. Don't sit in front again. It's true. What did I do? What did I do? It was him. It wasn't him. It was him. <laughs> so we were going somewhere and I think I missed the road so I had to let us stop somewhere. We have to pick a car again. And they are blaming me. We took the car from a station. Why would you not stop there? Why would you not stop there? You, you have to give us change. You look like a Ghanaian. I have a friend in Ghana, they are twins, you look like them. Give us our money. Thank you, eh? Thank you, bye bye. Get the place that we don't have a hotel to stay. So, um, one interesting thing that I found about um, the people of Eswatini is that they are friendly, they are good to go, they always want to find out what you are up to and everything. This is how we expect all Africans to behave or act towards other African people around the world. Okay, we are together, we are one. We don't have to have this kind of uh, attitude of segregation that is not part of the African system. So I believe that anybody who, who wants to travel around the world uh, should even start from uh, uh, Eswatini. Eswatini is a beautiful country. The people are calm and there are not many so you don't have a lot of crowded people. You don't have a lot of crowded people around. So I'm sitting here in front of KFC uh, making my video saying what I want to say and people are not really asking me hey why are you making a video because in some other places they will be like why are you making videos? Why are you taking a video of me? Meanwhile I'm not. I'm just having taken a video of myself sharing my experiences in Eswatini, which is so beautiful. I love it. Uh, I would want to repeat this again. I would want to do it again. You know, do it again, again, and again, and again, and again, because, I mean, the weather alone is something that is top notch. Thank you very much for checking me out. Eswatini was beautiful coming to your country, formerly Swaziland. Peace out. <laughs> Swazi is good. Tell them something about Swaziland. Okay, about Swaziland. Wow, Eswatini is a very, very nice country, a calm one, mm -hmm. uh, a place with a subtle the environment, mm -hmm. a place that is very good for someone who likes isolation, okay. calmness, um, and it's full of. Um, entertaining people respecting one and welcoming one i think you guys have seen that yeah. you have some fun to it uh yeah <laughs> so tell us a few places we can go if somebody comes here okay you told me about the first one the first one no i, I won't lie about that i would say whenever you cross uh, the ocean border don't hesitate to drive straight to Sweden resort wow what a place quite an attraction Surely, in just a few years, a few years down the line, there will be a Swatini's leading attraction. Wow, it's in terms of tourism, uh, tourism activities, that place is growing. Cool. They are developing, yes, slowly but surely, I'm sure that we will be having a lot of services up there. Okay. And there is also Mandela Cultural Village, it's almost similar to where there is a it's a full of the traditional experience, mm -hmm. entertainment part, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the dining and lodging sector because there is accommodation, okay. there's a restaurant, also what is my Yes, wait, my friend and I, the male one, not the female one, okay. we want to come back here. Okay. But give us a particular month you think we should come because I hear that month when we come, we will see a lot of beautiful, you know, like, yeah. you see okay, that? I would say, 
still come on February. We are no, we don't want to come on in February. February. We we want the book August. Ceremony. The book ceremony. And now we have come during the, the Ingwala Festival, which is the national prayer. Whereby we go to thank you, Ombalin Kandi, the God, mm -hmm. for blessing us on that very year. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's a very good time to come. Hence, we are for the Bukan Festival. Whereby we, we drink the traditional brew, uh, Amarula. Amarula. Yeah, okay. it's Amarula is with the key, my dear. The key? With the key. What about the one that you see nice ladies without? They show the their umbrella. Umbrella. That one is on focus. That is what we want to do. You count. want that one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You guys want <laughs> they want to come without you, ladies, and go for Umshanga to see the nothing. <laughs> 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 oh, we, we want to see who the king is going to choose on that day. Is, is, it, is day. it on that day that the king chooses? Not always. Not always. But this yes, year he will choose. Guys. 2014, he will choose. That's a really good choice. So, so, so you, you have. The girls that come, is it? Do you force them to do it, or no, no, you willingly it's say? It's their pride. Yes, we have faith and reserve ourselves this long. Okay. So they are all virgins. Yeah. So there are a lot the, of virgins in this town. Mm -hmm. So all the breasts that will be on that day, about thousand people, mm -hmm. they all are virgins. Mm -hmm. ah, I want to know. Sure. And I'm we sure. always had a lot of guests like you guys mm -hmm. coming from America. Okay. Over Coming to see breasts and choose. choose. And choose. Like and choose. Can we choose? Wow. If, that is <laughs> if, if we are clever, we can get some of the girls, right? Uh, not if you are clever. you are just to take chances. Yeah, yeah. advantage of them. Because we, we want to come and get some and take them to Ghana. Uh, how like, about them? Like five. They are our sisters. Yes. Yeah. yeah, now we are their brothers, uh, they are our brothers. <laughs> now, now. now, don't now. mind We're them. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you very much. So, um, promote your place so that people who come here will. So, what's the name of your place? It's Molly's restaurant, it's a fine dining one, uh, a very good one, especially if you have just entered in ocean maybe it can be your first stop okay. just to grab something to eat okay. and order from the menu we do a la carte we have plenty of uh, um products okay. depending on what what you guys will like we do have grills mm -hmm. we do have seafoods okay. we do have uh pizzas a lot a okay. lot a lot a lot you can just order Trust me, it's, it's the and taste Molly's, of greatness, as we say. Molly's house will definitely food. get the greatest taste. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. <laughs>